Welcome, in front of me I have the Huawei P50 Pro and today I will just show you a couple things uh, that I believe you should change on your uh, brand new phone as a just kind of general start to customizing your phone. So to get started I'm gonna navigate into the settings and we're gonna begin with the home screen and wallpaper and right off I'm gonna turn off the always on display because it consumes more battery and uh, I prefer to have a longer battery life than just this weird ass looking uh, always on display which I don't really care nor do I utilize that's just me keep in mind that everything that I'll say right here is up to preference and this is gonna be primarily my preference here now another thing you probably should change or could change is the wallpaper uh, this standard one that comes with the device is just kind of not my style right here so I'm just gonna well, navigate to something else obviously we can download different uh, different wallpapers uh, these are the ones that come with the device uh, I do prefer the bluish tone a little bit more uh, rather than the gold one so there we go so now you can see we have a different wallpaper and moving on to the next one uh, also was under the home screen and wallpaper and we have right here home screen style uh, by default the phone comes with uh, <coughs> this not very good um, option right here which is the all apps uh, smack in the middle of your home screen i most certainly do not like the clutter that that it creates so i would opt into the drawer option there we go which will create a drawer and remove majority of the clutter that was on your display now alternatively what i would also use instead of uh, the drawer uh, just because i absolutely hate the huawei launcher would be a different launcher now personally uh, on my mate 20 pro i use a uh, what is it smart launcher 6 right now and boy oh boy is it amazing so there we go as you can see it works really nice uh, it has categories as you can see so I can access different categories here and it's just really nice launcher works well um, it has a neat feature uh, like an example I can launch the single press my uh, music player of choice then double pressing it will launch something like as an example uh, Spotify you can choose what apps it will launch with single and double click you can customize each icons and so on uh, giving you a far cleaner and uh, more versatile launcher than this actual trash is here so i would highly recommend checking that out instead but sticking with not actually installing launchers i can just change it into a drawer and it will give you a little bit of a better uh, better experience than having all your apps smack in the middle you can still move those apps to your home screen if you want to you can remove the ones that are on your home screen right now uh, it also uh, shows you suggestions, which just gives you the most uh, recently used apps, oh, four of them. And you can also search them by letters, as you can see right here. So that's another way. Though I really, really do like the way you can do it on here with the categories that it creates. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I really like the launcher. And once again, if you're planning to check out the launcher that I'm using, uh, that is a Smart Launcher 6. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be the uh, gesture navigation. Now, this comes uh, enabled by default, so we can opt into not using it. But if you plan to change it back to things like the buttons because you don't like gestures, or if you went with the buttons and you want to switch it back to gestures, I can do so by going all the way down in the settings to system and update, and then system navigation. And in here, you have the choice between those two. And moving on to the last option, it's going to be the dark mode. And it's going to be located under the display and brightness, or right over here. So obviously enabled, turns on dark mode. Uh, this is an AMOLED display, which is OLED. So it turns any kind of like fully black surface uh, pixels completely off, meaning that they will consume less battery. Again, prolonging your battery life. Now, unlike, uh, other brands nowadays, uh, Huawei is still uh, several years behind with their uh, with their just skin of Android. 
because let's be honest even though this is Huawei and they don't have access to play services right now meaning the newest updates of Android uh, even when they had it they were do doing an absolutely terrible job at it and removing good features and uh, adding their own trash features and I would know I've been using for several year years uh, Mate 20 Pro which also came with play services uh, limiting the options that came with the Android at that time. So, uh, one of the things that I'm pointing out here is the dark mode. Every device nowadays gives you the option to change the dark mode based on the time of day. Set it up as a schedule. What do we get here? Absolutely nothing. We get a hard toggle. Congrats, Huawei. You removed another great feature from Android. Fantastic. Now, I'm gonna check one more thing, um, just to uh, kind of read on the parade here. So we have auto uh, rotate on, if I lock it and flip it over, it still doesn't do it. Great, a device that was released in, what is it, 2022 or 2021, one of those, uh, still uh, by some sheer stupidity uh, has no uh, rotating option. Now, if you ever used a different device uh, than Huawei, you're probably already aware that when you have your rotation off and you flip the device uh, over, it will just show you this tiny little icon for like the flipping screen. You can tap on it and it will just rotate the screen to that position of the device right now. Uh, actually allowing you to rotate it when you want it, not whenever the device is in different orientation. But we don't have that here. As well as we don't have the dark mode uh, schedule mode here. But anyway, I kind of did diverge from the subject right here. So uh, the dark mode was basically the last thing that I wanted to show. Uh, even though it's limited here, it still gives you uh, an option to have it on or off. And gives you the benefit of just extending your battery life. Uh, even though by not very big margin, it's still there. So you can enable it if you prefer the dark mode it has a benefit of giving a little bit of a better battery life obviously a dark mode isn't the best solution especially during the sunny days outside you might struggle to see the screen with the dark mode but um, then i guess you can just go back and change it to light mode in this case and they do i believe have the toggle to quickly switch between and notifications right here so there we go, there's a dark mode, so you can quickly swap it on and off whenever you want to change it. So anyway, this will conclude the things that I recommend changing on here. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.